ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, got something we were trying to tell y'all. Hey, dear Eon, the following is a response to your request for proof of delivery on your item with the tracking number. It gives me the tracking number. It says it was delivered and picked up at a postal facility, blah, blah, blah. USP, UPS ground, signature confirmation, $100 insurance, and E. Anderson. Hey, that was the uh, person who signed for it. And there's their electronic signature. That's a process of service through the United States Postal Service. This is the lawsuit. Pay attention. This is the lawsuit. Okay. Let's make sure of something. Just want to make sure. Okay. This is the Attorney General, and the other one is the Federal Reserve. Waiting for one more because we got the Federal Reserve Board. So we got two Federal Reserves, the Federal Reserve and the Federal Reserve Board of Governors. Okay, the two two separate entities, they're not the same. So all three got served, and guess what? Any Federal Reserve Bank <laughs> is a bank of the Federal Reserve. So I don't have to serve all 150 Federal Reserve Associated agents. Notice the principal is notice the agent. They're going to say, oh, no, you got it. I'm going to be like, no, I don't. You better go back and look at the maxim. You are not ignoring the maxim, and I'm not going to have you do no Nisi Prius junk here where you think you get to decide. The law decides, not you. I didn't elect to have you as the judge. You all chose you as the judge. So with that Nisi Prius process y'all got going on, I don't have time for it. So we're going to follow the law. Now, what if they ignore all those other people like I told you? Let's do this for you so you guys get it. Because some of y'all are going to never, never going to get it, 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 never get it. Some of y'all are never going to get it. So let me help y'all get it so that y'all get it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a $400 billion lawsuit. The banks have been fractional reserve banking all of your transactions. They're not deposits, people. They're transactions. They've been fractional reserve banking all of your transactions because every financial transaction you do in some fashion or form gets put into a bank no matter who you pay it to it gets put into a bank and they get the fractional reserve but you get no benefits from that because people tell you owe them ladies and gentlemen as long as they get the fractional reserve you don't owe them there is no law allowing them to fractional reserve it's called fountain pen money you are the one that's permitting it. When you sign the document, fountain pen, signing with a pen, you're creating money for them through fractional reserve banking. I know it sounds so simple now, huh? Well, you have not received the benefits of that transaction. So, ladies and gentlemen, $400 billion. Call the IRS. Say, hey, uh, homie, can you send me, I'm going to need 150 1099C, so send me 200 because, you know, I might mess up on a few. Yeah, I need 200 1099Cs, and you do your $400 billion on each one. You got to handwrite it. It's okay. Do your $400 billion on each one. You see, officially, your claim is filed. Now, I'm going to take these items, all three. Right now, I don't have the third one. I'm going to upload this document, proof of service. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to take those. Now I'm going to put it in the same folder we had the documents in. Hold on. Give me one second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we go on, this is the last one, 76. And there you go. So these are the 251s and then 2551. That's the Federal Reserve. So this one and this one, 2551. That's the Federal Reserve. Sorry, the first one was the Attorney General. The 530, that's the Attorney General's office. See, if it was the wrong address, they wouldn't have signed for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
And notice the agent is not a principal. You didn't send it to our register. I ain't got to send it to your stupid registered agent. Notice the agent is notice the principal. I sent it to the principal. Now go to the office because you're getting suspended. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. They want you to jump through hoops, but when it comes to your rights, they jump through nothing. They ignore, go around, abridge it, ignore it. I don't have time for ignorance. That's the first thing. So, yay, the lawsuit is filed. Now we're waiting on the judge. Now the judge has got a problem because the suit that we put forth, there is no gobbledygook. There is no technicalities that it was nonsensical, frivolous, or any of that stuff because we only used facts and conclusions of law. Go back, read the petition. Give me one other second, please. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is we're going to load all four documents into the website. The link will be in the browser. I mean, in the um, title, please understand that that's what you're going to attach to your, pay attention, 1099-Cs. There's no reason to do a 1099-A. 1099-Cs. You do not have to send a copy of your 1099-C to the recipient. They are already aware of the debt. All you have to do, you're the creditor, they're the debtor. By law, you are a financial institution. Pay attention. There are no penalties for sending 1099-Cs. There are no penalties for not sending 1099-Cs. There are no penalties because there is a moratorium placed on 1099 C's. So some of you have been getting things returned. Nobody told you to do it. You did it on your own because you didn't do your own research. So no, you don't have to send them a copy. 400 billion dollars each defendant. Now, bristle up. And be amazed because nothing like this has ever been done in the history of this country where one person could sit up there and help everybody extinguish their debt with a simple lawsuit. All you need is a student loan, a home loan, a car loan, a credit card. Do you follow me? Any consumer transaction of debt. That's all you need because that's what the lawsuit is about. We are not supposed to be paying stupid debts. Our instruments are creating the money that the economy is working off of. That was the deal. It's called the New Deal. But we are allowing them to call us debtors. So let's take the shoe and hit them aside the head. Ain't got no business putting it on the other foot. Okay, till you get to the white meat. Till you get to the white meat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this video is as short as it is. The documents are already up. Ain't none of them failed. They are all, wait a minute, hold on, they're queued. Oh, they're not up yet. Hold on, we gonna process like cheese. We gonna process that stuff. Now, watch this. Double click, there they go. They're online. So you guys are going to have these shortly. I got a copy URLs, okay? You guys are going to have them shortly. They'll be in the title. Want to thank you? Those of you, you don't know how to do a 1099C? Eon Channel. Successfully, then 1099C. Just search for it on the Eon Channel, and you will find a video showing you how to complete a 1099C. Go read the instructions, then watch the video, and it will be like water. You'll be doing it daily. 150 of them. Okay, don't. Oh, by the way, hold on. What if the IRS says no? What if they don't approve it? Doesn't matter. You still get the credits. You don't understand. You still get to file your taxes. See, just doing the 1099 doesn't get you the credits. 
Notifying them is what you're doing with a 1099. 1099 is for informational purposes only. 1099 doesn't do anything. It's just for information. It's just a notice. You are providing them notice. They don't get to have a say-so in your debt. The government can't tell you whether or not you have a debt. Go back and read their own document, IRS Tax Topic 453, and then go read Section 166. They don't have a say-so as to whether or not somebody owes you a debt. But here you have proof of debt because you have proof of service, of notification on the idiots that they owe a debt. Okay? Now, this is not a gimmick. Oh, no, no. This is going to the Supreme Court. I am not sitting up here doing this just to be playing games. I'm not doing this just so y'all can get some federal credits. Okay? I am not doing this so y'all can get some federal credits. Uh, starting this week, we'll be doing videos letting you know, those of you who are doing the $400 billion credit thing, that data mass will process the paperwork for, I believe it's $20 billion. I don't think they're going higher than $20 billion. I have to talk to them again. We, we haven't been talking a lot lately because I, I've been too busy. I'm sorry, but if you only knew how tired I am right now and it's 4 o'clock, and I've been up since 4, <laughs> so this is 7 days a week and this is Sunday. Okay, I'm about to shut all of this down because I got to consult first thing in the morning and then I got to go to, uh, man, and then to Monday is my busiest day and tomorrow definitely will be a busy day. I got a vehicle that I have to take to have to have it towed and AAA told me, hey, you can only go seven miles. What are you talking about seven miles? I'm paying you fools $140 a year. You better believe I'm going, oh, that's where the RV. You better believe it. Well, that's only the RV. It doesn't cover the car. You better believe it covers the car because I paid for the plus, woman. Well, what happens, ladies and gentlemen, is when you get AAA, I live in a rural area. I mean, seven miles ain't nothing. It takes me an hour to get into town. So don't be telling me nothing about no seven miles. I would never have done that. I don't care if I was smoking crack since the beginning of time. You smoke crack? Your mama smoke crack. I apologize. <clears throat> Sorry, those voices. They just show up out of nowhere. So, again, ladies and gentlemen. You know a friend, you know an uncle, you know a relative. You can invite them into the lawsuit. The video is still up there. All you got to do is go to the Eon channel and type in 400 billion. Because I'm doing this, that's going to make it more likely that they're going to try to dismiss this case. But the more of you who join it, and I need as many of you as possible sending your notifications to the court. If the court returns it, keep that return letter. Do not send it to me yet. There's going to come a time when you're going to get to send it to me. Okay? But you're letting the court know that you are a party of interest. They're supposed to file it into the record. There's no filing fee. There is no filing fee. What I did to them is what they normally do to us. I filed a simple complaint, and the judge doesn't get to determine whether or not it's a class action. The fact that too many of you <laughs> have notified them that you're a party to the matter, they don't have a choice. It's a class action nonetheless. There will be some law firm that's going to say, hey, we can help you guys out. Let, let us take over. And I'll be like, oh, you got to talk to me. I'm that Negro. And when you talk to me, we're going to make sure that you don't get over on my people and that you guys don't take an attorney's fee that, man, your attorney's fees are going to be separate from the settlement. Understand, you don't take your attorney's fees out of our settlement. No, your attorney's fees are separate. So you can have whatever attorney's fees you want, but you're not taking it out of our pockets. Okay? You guys need to understand, this is a plan. I've been planning this for, man, 15 years? Let's see, 2000, 2008. A little bit over that, huh? A little bit over 15 years. Ever since my best friend went to that thing with his house, 
and had that situation going on. And I told him that I would do what I could to help him. Okay, and that debt's completely erased. He doesn't owe anything on it. It still wasn't good on his credit for the time that it was on his credit, but it's, the debt's gone. They gave him a letter showing the debt's completely paid. That's did the video, how I paid off my mortgage without spending a dime. It was his mortgage. Because of that situation, we don't talk anymore. Because I introduced him to the person who he was doing a favor for. He wasn't doing a favor for me. He was doing a favor for them, but he took it as if he was doing me a favor. I, I had nothing to do with it, but that's the way he took it. Oh, well, life goes on. But I did my job. I told him, didn't know how I was going to do it at the time, but I told him I'd make it go away. It's gone away. So for the rest of you, I can't make your debts go away. Yes, I can. <laughs> $400 billion per 150 different clients. I mean, uh, defendants. Whew, $64 trillion on average. Of course I can make your debts go away. You just have to. Fill out the document, send it to the court. Yes, download it. Don't want you editing it. Download it, send it to the court. If you edit it, you're not a part of the suit because I'm the guy controlling the suit. You don't get to join it just because you feel like it. You understand? You don't get to become a party of this suit because you feel like it. This is not yours. You didn't write it. You didn't file it. You didn't pay anything. So you don't get to just join because you feel like it, right? There are rules. So please follow the rules. The document only lets them know that you are a part of it. That's it. You had nothing to do with it. You didn't write it. You didn't come up with any of the language. You didn't spend any of the time putting it together. So stay in your lane. Do your 1099Cs and do it as a sole proprietor, ladies and gentlemen. Do your 3800 so that you get the total value of the federal credits. And then hold on. Assign the federal credits to yourself on the state level after you file your 3800. Now, hold on. You got to do your research. I ain't going to tell you every document you need to file. I'm not going to tell you every document, but I do know this. Do your research. Find out what goes along with the 3800. You guys got all those tax preparers. They'll tell you. Now, if they say it deepens, you tell them, oh, no, it doesn't deepen. There's no flooding going on around here. I just need to know the answer to my question. I didn't say it deepens. I said it depends. Well, no, I don't need them right now. I'm not old enough to be wearing them. Sorry, they're going to tell you it, it deepens. It depends. Okay, they're going to tell you. And you're going to say, well, let's just do the simplest way to do it. I have the credits. I need to file it. I did it as a business. Well, what type of this and what type of that? No, nope, we're not going to do types. We're going to just do what's necessary for just the basic types. Okay, because they're gonna wanna they're gonna wanna be nosy and know as much as they can. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I got the air conditioner on and the swamp cooler, and it's 89 degrees in here because it's 115 outside. So I gotta let y'all go because I'm tired. So we'll talk next time. Take care of yourselves. Arriba Dirchi. Adios.